Known perhaps most famously for her acting roles such as Solitaire in the James Bond film Live and Let Die, Kate Trask in the miniseries East of Eden, and Dr. Michaela Quinn in the hit television series Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, Jane Seymour was born in 1951 in England to a Jewish doctor and a Dutch nurse. She was raised in Wimbledon with her birth name of Joyce Penelope Wilhelmina Frankenberg. As a child, she was surrounded by the arts. Her father had a love of Japanese art, and the family was often casually performing, dancing, and singing. As a teen, Jane wanted to be a ballerina, and so she attended a school for performing arts. When she was just 13, she made her professional debut with the London Festival Ballet. That same year, she entered the Arts Educational Trust for dance, music, and theater training, and danced with the visiting Kirov Ballet at Covent Garden. Her love of art began at an early age in England, where family gifts were always created rather than purchased, so that the true spirit of giving of oneself was expressed. Jane began painting around the 1990s when she was prompted by a period of personal challenge. Soon her art became the expression of a very private healing process. A profound experience that influenced Jane as a colorist was her discovery of the Impressionists. Matisse's stunning motifs, and Chagall's magical palette. Her lively design studies of floral patterns were inspired by the vibrant watercolors of Raoul Dufy. The influence of these artists continues to grace her work today. Jane remains challenged by studying the paintings of one of her most admired artists, John Singer Sargent, and painting in the Grand Manor tradition with legendary living masters. An inspirational trip to paint in Monet's garden in 2001 became Jane's personal tribute to the Impressionists. From this, she co-produced the first in a planned series of art education films on the Masters, titled Journey to Impressionism. Having commissioned Tom Milko, the noted Santa Barbara watercolorist, to paint a portrait of her children, she became motivated to begin painting with him. She continues to paint with others and also had the pleasure of painting with the late Richard Schmid. Jane enjoys the feeling of being one with nature and the outdoors, painting some of her most beautiful canvases in plein air. Inspiring others to paint and the feeling of community and healing it creates are abundantly rewarding to her. Her art also serves as inspiration for Open Hearts by Jane Seymour, a unique and beautiful jewelry line. Inspired by her original paintings of two hearts connected and open at either end, the design symbolized that love has no boundaries and flows unconditionally. When she's not acting, writing, or designing, Jane can be found in her Malibu, California painting studio. With a thriving career as an artist and her own art gallery in Los Angeles, she is exhibited in numerous galleries and venues across North America. Over the past 33 years, she has created an intimate world of delicate watercolors, vibrant oil paintings, pastels, and bronze sculptures, and has accepted select private commissions. She continues to reach new artistic levels by developing her technique, style, and subject matter. The artist's first one-woman museum exhibition was mounted at the Butler Institute of American Art in 2004. She has also created set designs for the Houston Ballet and a commission for the Fort Worth Dallas Ballet. She was chosen as the official artist for the 2006 Naples Winter Wine Festival and was a featured painter for the Olympics three times. A multiple Emmy and Golden Globe winner, recipient of the Officer of the British Empire in the year 2000, which was bestowed upon her by Queen Elizabeth II at Buckingham Palace, and recipient of the Horatio Alger Award, Jane has proven her talents in virtually all media. In addition to acting, Jane has written over 10 books and has launched Jane Seymour Designs, a national lifestyle brand inspired by her homes, art, and family-centered lifestyle. She is also involved in many philanthropic causes and in 2010 launched the Open Hearts Foundation, which provides funds to charitable organizations. It is a great privilege for us to recognize the life and work of Jane Seymour. Her high-profile career and artistic efforts have raised awareness of painting and art-making worldwide, influencing millions. Please join us in celebrating Jane as we present her with our highest honor, the Plein Air Magazine Lifetime Achievement Award.